Let's talk about how you can instantly improve your reads with just a few quick changes. Number one, make your approach wider. Let's say a goalie is clearing the ball off the corner and it's about to bounce out to you at midfield. When I'm coaching players, the mistake I see tons make when a ball is bouncing off the corner, for example, is simply cutting their angle too short. Let's say you're centering the ball to yourself off of the corner and you want to put a shot on that. If you bang it off the corner and attack the ball in the same line that you hit it at the corner, you're making it way harder for yourself to put a good shot on that. Instead, if you do a self pass off the corner and then you rotate wide around and line your car up with the net, you make both the shot and the read so much easier just by giving yourself more space and taking a wide rotation as opposed to a short one. Number two, rotate to the side of the read. A super common situation you might find yourself in on defense is when an opponent booms the ball off your backboard and you're driving back under it. When the ball is directly overhead, it's almost impossible to jump out from under it and read it well if you don't have thousands of hours of experience. Instead, if an opponent booms it off your backboard and you're directly under your net, try to swoop around to one of the posts. That way, you're viewing the bounce from a 90 degree angle and you can see it side on. When you see the ball side on as opposed to directly above your head, it's so much easier to see the angle that the ball is going to bounce off the wall and get a good read. Finally, avoid jumping before the bounce. This is a bad habit that a lot of players get into, especially if you run a lot of training packs where you know where the ball is going to bounce before it actually gets shot. Players who have this issue will jump before the ball even bounces off the wall. The problem is it's way harder to correct your car in the air than it is on the ground. And it's quicker to get airborne than it is to get grounded. So if there's going to be a tough read, let's say the ball's going to bounce off the bottom part of your opponent's backboard and you don't know if it's going to kick up or bounce back to you, or the ball's going to bounce off the waterfall above the net and you're not sure if it's going to come back out to the center or drop straight down in front of the net, simply wait for the bounce. Position for the most risky option, but wait to jump until you know exactly where it's going to go. It's much better to be half a second late to a read in game than commit early and miss entirely. Join the Discord down below for more free packs and resources, or if you're serious about improving, my private coaching program is nearly sold out. So if you want to learn more, DM me on Discord with the keyword up and we can talk details. I'll have my Discord first link down below, and as always, thanks for watching.